you have a couple of different ways that you can hold online meetings within the Teams application. We're going to focus on what's called an unscheduled meeting. It's also known as Meet Now. You'll start from the conversation tab of a team channel. Go to the bottom where you would start a conversation, and just underneath this field, you'll see the icons for the various tools that you can use within your communication. The one that looks like a camera, when you hover your mouse over it, the tooltip appears that says Meet Now. By selecting this, you're able to get started with setting up your meeting before you start it. At the top is a blinking cursor where it says, want to add a subject. Let's call this Q&A. Before we select Meet Now, there are additional controls just underneath this. I have the cover closed on my camera, otherwise you would be seeing the camera preview here. We'll go ahead and turn that off. To the right of that is the camera orientation, so you can rotate this on a 90 degree angle to change the orientation of that. If at this point you decide that you'd rather schedule the meeting for a future day and time, maybe 9 a.m. tomorrow, you could select schedule a meeting. But we're ready to get this unscheduled meeting started. Let's select meet now. What we are seeing in the Teams application has changed. This is the meeting interface. As you move your mouse within this stage area, you will see various options appear on how you can control particular settings of that meeting. The first one being turning the camera on or off again. If you would like to mute your microphone or unmute, or even share different applications that may be open on your computer or the overall desktop. Now we're working in the online version of Teams and you're not able to share your complete desktop currently within this. That's as of June, 2019. If you're working in the desktop version of Teams, you will see additional capabilities, including sharing various desktops within this share tray. Notice here it says desktop sharing isn't supported in your browser yet. Let's go ahead and dismiss this notification and move over to the right. The three ellipses is where you can start recording. Use the keypad if you need to make a phone call or turn off any incoming video from other participants. Over to the right, is where you can start taking meeting notes, you can chat in a conversation, add or show participants, and even get into the settings of this meeting. To invite Pierce Boyd by selecting his name, going to the three dots, I can ask Pierce to join this meeting. Once Pierce accepts this meeting, I will see that he's listed as currently in the meeting. To close the meeting, go ahead and select the red hang up button located in the lower right corner. Before we do that, notice on the left, you still have the capability to move around the Teams application. You will see a picture in picture of this meeting and be able to come back to this meeting at any time. Let's go ahead and hang up. And that is how you can start an unscheduled meeting, what is known as a Meet Now, within a Team channel.